All right, let's get the show on the road. Where are the bad guys? Ooh. Okay, these guys are taking this thing way too serious. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome, because today I am doing my gaming video on the OnePlus 9 Pro and the OnePlus 9. And stay tuned to the very end of this video because I've got a surprise for you. So let's jump in. So gaming is something we like to do a lot on this channel and a lot of people like, especially on the OnePlus devices. And today the OnePlus 9 series is finally out and is available here. The two devices from OnePlus, we've got the OnePlus 9 Pro, which is their flagship device, and the OnePlus 9, which of course is the entry level into the OnePlus 9 series. Both of these devices are powered by the Snapdragon 888 processor, so you expect it to get that kind of performance you expect from flagship devices, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, when it comes to the benchmarks on it, you can see it on screen, pretty standard affair for 888 uh, devices, and functionality is pretty good. But forget that. Let's, let's dive into what these devices do for us as gamers. So, it comes packed with the 888 as mentioned. We also have at least eight gigs of RAM. And of course, there are different SKU models you can go up to from eight to 12. And with the OnePlus 9 Pro, there are some differences with the OnePlus 9. So the display, for instance, on the 9 Pro is a 6.7 inch display. So what you have here is something that is lovely. It's got a refresh rate of one hertz to 120 hertz. LTPO display, which means it's got that adaptive refresh rate, really nice, really smooth, especially for uh, your gaming needs. And it's also got something called HyperTouch. Now, HyperTouch is great in certain games. It moves, it moves the touch, sensi touch sensitivity from 240 hertz to 360. What does that mean? Honestly, it's best to be experienced. When you're playing a game like PUBG Mobile or Call of Duty Mobile, uh, as well as also League of Legends. Those are the three games right now that support it. It feels, when I mean butter smooth, I mean absolutely butter smooth. You can go up and fire up those games and you feel like you are just gliding through. Controls are really nice. Very fast refresh rate. All the way, uh, I mean like honestly, it's just great. It's a great experience. And that's something that's different from the OnePlus 9. Now with the OnePlus 9, you have a display that's 120 hertz. It's not an LTPO display, uh, but again, you do have touch sensitive 240 hertz. So it is nice and smooth. Gameplay experience is great. You've got some really just uh, overall solid performance from this device. So you're asking the question, what does that performance look like? So let's go ahead and fire up a game like PUBG Mobile on the OnePlus 9 Pro so you can take a look. So with PUBG Mobile, you have the ability to play on the two key settings we always check out, Ultra HD Ultra, which I'm playing right now. And then you can go ahead, I can't switch, but you can play in Smooth and Extreme. So with those two, you've got those great uh, gaming uh, functionalities. Now with Ultra HD Ultra, uh, I get about 40 frames per second, which is nice, using Game Bench, which is my Game Bench tool. Uh, some really nice performance on it. And the 9 Pro, it just feels really nice butter smooth now smooth extreme is the other option as well and with smooth extreme i get about 60 frames per second on pubg mobile now pubg is just a game that i am not that good at but i'm going to give you some gameplay here to, for you to enjoy but one thing you will note that the experience is really really nice and that fast motion is also really solid all the way So a game like Genshin Impact is one that, of 
course is very tasking on any smartphone. Now, with the ability of the Snapdragon 888 processor here, you get uh, solid performance off it. Now, this is both on the OnePlus 9 and the OnePlus 9 Pro. Uh, I am playing this game at 60 FPS, uh, which is the max setting for Genshin Impact. And uh, I will tell you that for a 30 minute gameplay session on both devices, uh, you get roughly around 52 to 55 uh, frames per second. I'm gonna switch my character here quickly. And um, performance is solid. Performance is really, really good. Now Genshin is just a very tasking game in terms of just uh, what it pushes on the processor, heat dissipation, that kind of thing. And in terms of temperatures, this is where you get uh, some of that good performance that OnePlus has promised in terms of temperatures because they, they talked about having uh, a graphene cooling system, a new cooling structure for their devices, especially while gaming. So I can tell you that I got about 108, 107 degrees when I'm playing for about 10 to 15 minutes, especially playing Genshin Impact, which I'm probably going to die here. Uh, but when I'm playing for a longer period of time, like 30 minutes, I'm getting closer to about 117 frames per second. Now, mind you, what I've noticed lately, guys, is that the Snapdragon AAA processor on all the devices I've tested so far this year runs rather hot. So compared to last year with the Snapdragon 865, you're getting a warmer experience overall. But if we take our, of course, heat gun, try and measure this, this is roughly playing a short period of time. You can see it's getting 40 degrees Celsius or 105 degrees. So that's that short period of time temperature you would expect from this device, as opposed to uh, you playing for a longer period of time. But the cooling is actually pretty solid. So this is just to show you what this device can do and playing also at, with a game like Genshin, which you get a lot of performance hits from in the first place. Now, the other thing also is audio. Audio on this device is really solid. Uh, you get some really good audio. Uh, I won't talk too much about that because of course you guys should check out my speaker test. You get a good example of how the OnePlus 9 and OnePlus 9 Pro sounds uh, in different situations and I think you're gonna like the experience there. But it's pretty good for gaming. So with all that gaming that goes on the OnePlus 9 or the OnePlus 9 Pro, you're thinking, okay, how does it handle battery life? Now you've got a 4,500 milliamp battery on these devices. Uh, and of course, uh, you're thinking, is there a lot of battery drain? Yeah, you're getting a typical battery drain from here. It's something that I don't fully measure in most of my videos. But one of the best things about the OnePlus device is how you can actually charge your battery back up. Both devices support a 65 watt battery, which is great. This is the new Warp T charger. It is a solid charger overall, and it gives you that really fast charging you'd expect from OnePlus. Cutting your times down drastically, you're looking at something that's closer to about 38 minutes to charge fully from zero to 100, which is great. The other benefit of this device also is the fact that you have the Warp T wireless charging now at 55 watts. So it still takes less than an hour. It's about 55 minutes or so to fully charge from zero to 100 uh, on the OnePlus 9 Pro, which is amazing. So it means that while you're spending time gaming, you don't have to actually plug in to charge. You can spend that whole session and then pop your phone either on the wired charger or the wireless charger to get some really fast performance overall. Now, the question you're probably going to ask is, which do I prefer to game? Is it the OnePlus 9 Pro or the OnePlus 9? And honestly, 
I have to say it's the OnePlus 9 Pro. Uh, you know, we're not talking about the camera in this video and we'll talk about it in another video. It's got, you know, that great Hasselback camera experience that some of you are seeing in other videos, but it's actually the extra features here. So the, the built-in uh, hyper-touch uh, touch sensing at 360 hertz really plays a, a big deal in a couple of games. The fact that also uh, that it's got that LTPO dis display, so one to 120 hertz, and also, if you're a Fortnite fan, this is something that OnePlus still supports, you get 90 hertz gameplay in Fortnite. That is something that is nice and impressive. So if you're playing Fortnite on uh, this devices, you will get that. But I like that whole experience. And I also like the larger size of the OnePlus uh, 9 Pro at 6.7 inches compared to the 6.5 inches of the OnePlus 9. So there you have it, guys. That is gaming on the OnePlus 9 and the OnePlus 9 Pro. If you stay to the very end of this video, I have a surprise for you. And uh, something I mentioned earlier is that I am giving away a OnePlus 9 Pro. And all you have to do to enter to win this competition is very simple and very easy. You go ahead and follow all the channels on the network. I'm talking about Board at Work, Board Gamer, Board Femme, uh, as well as also Board Shorts and Daniel Sin. Leave a comment down below as well as your, either your Twitter or Instagram handle and we'll pick a winner within two weeks. I'll be giving away OnePlus 9 Pro and a few other mystery devices as well. So go ahead, enter the contest, watch more videos on the channel and always enjoy your entertainment.